Welcome to session 6, the process for verifiers. The purpose of this session is to explain the DBS microsite from the viewpoint of verifiers who have a vital and important role in the whole process, as it is the verifier that determines the type of check and level of check that finally gets applied. The system does prompt the minimum level of check based on the person's roles set in types and levels. See opposite. But it is what is entered into the APCS system by the verifier that unless challenged by APCS is the check that is completed for the applicant. What we will cover in this session and points to note. I will start this session live from the point of the verifier receiving their email from the microsite. Please ignore the APCS one as that does not have the details of the minimum level of check needed. See video session 3 for initialising a DBS check. This will show the practical step-by-step -step stages you as a verifier would complete having clicked on the APCS link received from the microsite, including how to make corrections, volunteer or salaried, why important, and regulated checks. As mentioned, APCS will on occasion challenge the eligibility of a check, particularly a home regulated check, as this requires the police to check everybody at that residence. So this is the email that has come through and we have the link and you can see the applicant's name, the, the role, where it's a volunteer position and the level of check that's actually been specified here. So to start the process, we just click the link here. When you click on the link, you'll get through to this page. You'll see the ID up here, person's details down here as they recorded it in their DBS application. And taking their documents, you would firstly confirm their name and tick here, confirm their date of birth, tick here, confirm their current address, look there, their national insurance number here against their documents, if there was a driving license put here, you would see a tick at this point. The passport number here against the passport that they've shown you and any other documents that they might have provided, like birth certificate, for instance. Now, from the email, you would have known that, in fact, this needs to be an enhanced uh, certificate. So we've got enhanced already selected. So that's nice and easy. And we just put in their role license lay minister. It's always nice to be upper and lower case. This is what actually gets applied to the microsite. So it's good to type the role in full here. Acronyms like LLM and LPA don't actually mean anything to APCS. So it's good to put in the full role. And this is where you select the all important workforce. And as per the email, you could see that in fact, we needed adult and child workforce selected. Now you'll notice as default that these two boxes for regulated activity are ticked and that's what we actually require so there's nothing to do but if you did not require regulated activity you would just untick them like that. I can't stress strongly enough that it's really important that the DBS level agrees with what has been advised just because there are not children currently in your church, for instance, don't untick children workforce because, because the level of checking is based on the role, not on the local context. And so it's really important that this person can operate anywhere in the diocese. The other thing to note is the, here you see by default, the application is ticked as an unpaid volunteer. If this person was salaried, then you'd need to untick this. Now you'll notice the ID checker has been completed here and the telephone number, that obviously is your detail, so that's important to be correct. And also what is required is that you've got to confirm that you've established the person's identity from the records that you've received. And you do that by ticking here. Now, if there's any mistakes here, for instance, the passport number was wrongly put in or maybe the address is wrong, uh, someone put in 163 instead of 162, for instance. You can put those details in this box here and then that will be picked up by APCS and they will correct this information. So just because the applicant has put something in incorrectly, 
it means that you can still use this application you just need to modify it and advise APCS that there needs to be a change. Now having ticked regulated activity here and here and the, and the unpaid volunteer when you go to next in the next screen it will ask you to confirm this because these are significant checks particularly in the case of unpaid volunteer this affects the cost of this if this person is not a volunteer then the cost of the check is no longer free so that's an important thing to to make sure is correct and obviously it's vital that somebody that is uh, in ministry and is, and is receiving the salary has got a salaried DBS uh, and not a volunteer one. And in fact, we, we have had occasions where we had to redo a check because of that. So that's important to note. The other thing to, to realize is that supposing you made a mistake with this, you can always go back and untick these as required. So if you make a mistake, you can correct that. So going next. So in this case, I want to confirm this. And so I would just go yes, yes, yes. And finally, all I have to do is click submit. And that confirms that you've successfully completed this check. Just press close and you're done.